taken pretty low as well, but does get the heal off himself in the blue zone. That'll be crunched forward. Delta moves up to the crate, and that could be crucial, Blank. That was the biggest move in all this, and the smokes were really good. Disorientated Inko a little bit, but getting these two players up, very important. Oh, no. Squash, unfortunately, takes a hit to the zone. Vitaly struggling to get across to and DRS might have just played this one out perfectly. Nenebete down, just Becker remaining. A horrid push for them going forward. I don't even think they can get the player back up on his feet. And DRS actually going for aggression now. Vitaly still active, but they get lit up by Delta. And DRS extend their hand and put the choke hold on the circle. DRS from the northeast side, push on through. And the first match was theirs. Now, in match number 10, they're able to do the same. DRS from Nepal, a really good result there. And from the back of some very good decisions, taking that fight up towards influence, but spine one on towards pick feet. The Wolves in their fairly central location will be under threat from a lot of angles. A second knock over towards Alter Ego for DRS. And the teams beneath S2G are circling. S2G on that southwest side, moving through Los Leones right now have not managed to pick up their feet and gain speed so far, but they are still four strong, and it's still very early doors in this Miramar. Stage three, too early to call. Potato, sits down, sits back. DRS effectively deals with the challenge in front of them. Doesn't even see a blockade as the front bumper smashes through it. Potato has been spotted, laid broad as well. Mythic. Further up the hill, but Killer's more preoccupied. Got that fancy feet, or at least the fancy knee work. Doesn't get stolen away. That's another point for DRS. Three eliminations now. Uh, it's a very, very good point, John, in the sense that Inko is playing their best sort of gameplay, and DRS is the one who is very good with the battering ram, pushing in from the edge side. Nades come through. And DRS is playing this marvelously, backing off. Texas two-step here, not allowing Ingo to get anything done, and there then falls from Delta. That was the position on the outside as well for Inko. An off angle from Nenebete is dealt with, handled, and two players from DRS are going to start to move on this hillside. Look how far away Giante and Delta are, but they do not lack the confidence here. DRS are going to play off against one another, sees Nenebete get behind the rock. And the information should be gathered on over. No nades for rules to be able to lob that behind. No Molotovs either. And teammate just suppressing those angles. Vitali in the compound for Inko. And actually, Nenebete has been res now. The QBU, an ankle spotted for rules, does get a little tickle of damage. And up in the hunting tower, Killer doesn't quite find a knock either. These small amounts of healing could start to come through. Vitali wants to leverage position. This is a crucial fight, and with Inko on three players already, they might be letting this second place on the table slip just a little bit. Delta with a nade. Could go straight through that window there. Oh. Lobs it in. Vitaly's fine. Good sprays, though. Vitaly takes a lot of damage. We'll go for the pre-spray on the window. Delta runs back. That could be bad news. Vitaly does not... Peek out quick enough, and Delta finds himself in a very strong spot. In the meantime, Squash goes very oh. low, goes down now. Vitaly, last member remaining. Inko, 137 in second place, crumbling at this point in time. This is massive for DRS. A nade out through the window, and Vitaly now last standing. A massive powerhouse for Inko during the games we've seen so far. The first 14 matches, but in match number 15, he has to go one versus four against DRS, who started the game four points behind them. With this final point, they will find the equalizer. They are neck and neck now, second place for both teams. DRS must be really gone for a wide swing here. Potato, if he can just stop DRS from pushing forwards, he can play them off against one another. Influence Kemen, position aware of now. Killer moves in with the auto shotgun, but backs off. Don't want to go for the trades just yet. Federal and Lil Boy close by, and Gianti nearly gets the better end of the deal there. Potato not chiming in just yet. Kodowski is lit up as well, and Influence Kemen's push has some trouble. Nade around the side. Oh. Beautiful nade there coming from Giante. Little boy goes down. Fair amount of damage towards Law and Federal. Can't really afford to get the med kits there off just is. yet because there's more nades, more damage coming through that way. 
Alter Ego Potato might want to get involved on this one. Delta looks forward towards the smoke. Federal all by himself. UMP looks to shoot them through the smoke here. Can't find it. That's influence coming down to one player. DRS taking them apart systematically. Oh dear. They will fall all the way on out. 15th place and no eliminations. That's big news for DRS. Picking up four elimination points as well. Towards that direction. Unfortunately, with DRS, with the circle at their back, they will have to move forward. So a knock at this point of the game, this stage of the game, it's not going to be too influential. Ching Chen picks himself up a vehicle. They know they'll need cover going into this last fight. Two. Through the smoke. This is so smart from 4AM. They really are setting up this end game very well. And they're already inside the next circle, which was their biggest problem, John. Two players move forward and Outington is given that platform this to move crazy. in. The movement from 4AM is disciplined now. Svan, WWX, Ching Chen on a wide split. Svan repositioning now, wants to get a little bit tighter on in and that puts all of them in the next circle. This smoke usage is disgusting. And honestly at this point in time, I think 4AM's kind of played the winning move, right? This is almost checkmate. With them in such a defensive area and DRS now forced to Ooh. walk down the hill. Coming into zone nine. Oh. But that's a great refrag, a great re knock onto Ching Chen. Now in a 1v2, it's going to be difficult for him to pick them back up again. Svan has to put the hurt down over toward DRS. That's going to require a first Lovely. take it, but he finds another down to one in just Yante. Svan's taking this all home by himself. 15 eliminations so far. They want to rack up 18 blank. It will be a monumental 33 point game for them. And Delta is going to go down a 16th point on the elimination card for them now this game and Ching Chen is rezzed. WWX has the nade, launching it on forwards. Behind the tree it goes long and Renox rules. Gianti now, the last on the menu and 4 a.m. are hungry. They want to take it here, they want to take it now and the top of the tables is not safe. A disgusting game coming through from 4 a.m. It's only a matter of time, not losing members early on. Seems the influence Kevin is going to let this one go easily. The DRS currently have the roadside. It's a very smart rotate from them to hold out the boys here. Ooh. But Ney's coming through liberally. And the guys from Influence came in. One goes down already. Yante immediately has to move in for the assist. In the meantime, Federal gets up towards the roadside. What a play from him. Delta a very close. limited amount of time as well to make that happen. Giante with two players to deal with now. Delta has to push around the side of the smoke and Law not able to deal with it. Kajowski lit up from the back and influence Kemen torn apart there. DRS now have that control on the northern side blank. So important for them. Longer game here. That's brilliant from Gutsiao. That's going to give them time. And time is what they need. And there was a second knock as well going over towards Stalwart from Svan. Really nicely found now. DRS are going to try and mount this assault onto the Wolves position, but it is not going their way. Remember, we'll be the last player standing. It's one for one. Oh, and Nade takes his teammate right out from underneath him. Sweeps the leg. A crawl forwards from Delta to get the information as Rules gets healed on up. They spot the player down in the ditch, but he goes for the player to flush. And it's the Wolves to stay alive with one. Great stuff there from the Wolves. Unfortunately, just one player remaining and Nova. There's still some hillside, some staging around on the north side, the east side, south side and west side. But the closer we get towards the center of this map, the more hectic this game is going to become. Once people are inside that circle, it will become a lot more playable. But as, as, as long as people are on the outside, as you said, with those high ground positions, it's going to be really, really tricky. Speaking of outside positions, DRS, they've been behind Vampire for so, so long. Important. And that's a beautiful knock for Ravenclaw to slow down any aggression. The nade over towards Stone is going to keep them low and keep them on the back foot. And Ravenclaw, oh, they turn that around what? in just one split second. And Delta stays alive for DRS. I thought that was all done for DRS, but no. They get tailing out of that fight, but sometimes you just got to run away. And that is what potentially Stalwart should have done with the smokes. Maybe got one knock and then just scarpered. Could still go for that top five position. That top three was still in the bag, still available. DRS turned their attention to Vampire now. Ravenclaw falls. Vampire did get up to four. But they bumped back down to three fairly quickly. DRS. They have four players of their own, and Ravenclaw gets flushed out, flushed out pretty fast there. Fluke closest now, and will feel the brunt of a nade and a second to dunk it down. An alley-oop set up by the DRS squad. Nine eliminations now. 
the Nepali team doing so much work on the run down the stone to close it down. S2G, hang on a minute, they stole a couple away. Vampire eliminated, and now they're into the fight. S2G taking on DRS, and in the, in the midst of it all, Ching Chen is... Or Alter Ego. Damage done, though, to the ranks of the Vampires as Alter Ego swept aside. Eight place, one elimination. Stalwart now with a challenge on DRS on the south side. Forwards position for actions. Pika is already down as Scry is dispatched by Gianti on the off angle. A nice find. Nade in hand on the bottom of the hill. And the res at front needs to come through now. Or it needs to stay tall. Rules might not even know about it. Hang on a minute. He's pushed all the way through. He's managed to get a knock on the back. And top falls as well. But they turned around on Gianti now under pressure from action. But it's DRS. And stalwart fall. An insanely good crunch there coming out from DRS from either side.